A year has passed since the sauropodlets fled into the denser part of the forest, and deep in a canyon, the little female grazes. She is already over three meters long. She feeds with other yearlings that stick together in a creche for safety. They are here because the walls of the canyon drip with moisture, creating a thick layer of moss and fern. But the canyon runs down to the prairie, and all this greenery attracts larger dinosaurs. A seven-ton male Stegosaurus. He too is a herbivore, but very dangerous. The large plates on his back are primarily there for display. It is the meter-long spikes on his tail that make him so lethal. These he can wield with devastating effect, despite having a very small brain for his body size. The crash moves further down the canyon, away from the Stegosaurus. But two Allosaurus have also been drawn here by the smell of prey. Stegosaurus flushes blood into his plates, creating a frightening display of color. Confused and intimidated by the herbivore's display, the Allosaurus backs down. 